Right, come on, man. I'm back in the building. Spiritual deals. Telling you, at this point, I'm just a anti-social guy because I just feel like, what do I need to be talking to you for? You know what I mean? Not even in a rude way or nothing. It's like, when you get to a point of success on whatever you're doing, it's like, I don't need to be giving my energy that's out to people that... I don't need to be, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, that's that's the kind of mindset you're being because it's like, why am I giving out all this energy to, you know what I mean? Just saying whatever to this person when they ain't contributing no nothing to my life. It's like, I'm just contributing to their life, literally. Telling you, man, at this point, you just got to do f everything that's is best for you because we got we to gotta get to the promised land as quick as possible. This is why I tell you to leave people behind in the past, brother, because... If you don't want to, if you don't want to be going Dubai every week and stuff like this, then you go put all your energy and back all in these people and let everyone back in your life. And you see, you ought to go back to the same spot that you came from, and you watch what life will, how life will turn out for you again. But man, you got to understand these Decepticons will dumb down your intelligence. That's what I realized. It's like back when I was in my unhealed version. It's like when I went around people, yeah, you know I mean dealing with them. It's like they have that. It's like, it's like your, your mind will just push you away from these people. It's like, literally, it's like your mind will just push you away from these people. Like, not, not push you away, but like, push your thoughts away to not give them out to these sorts of people. Like, because I'll go around certain people and it's like, it won't allow you to open up to them. It won't allow you to give them knowledge and whatever you know. And I'm telling you, it's like you're kind of dumbed down. It's like you're. It's like it will dumb you down going around these people. That's what I realized. It's like it's your it's your it, either your intuition or you're you're just guided to not open up like that because I'm telling you, I've been around so much people and it's like I just feel. Not like how I feel right now, you know what I mean? It's like you're just in a whole... It's like you're in a mind space of just putting the attention on them because it's like you are the centre of attention. So it's like you just kind of give them attention like, oh yeah, what, like, what's going on with you, this, that. You you kind of don't want them to be asking you all the questions because you feel like they're just out to destroy your operation, I'm telling you. Because that's how I felt with these people. It's like... If I told them, like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this and that in my life or this, that, it's like they will just try and destroy it somehow. I'm telling you, this is why I never, this is why I never really told people, like, things about what was going on in my life and what was going on with me and my next plans and movements and shit. Because it's like deep down, you always know, like, they don't have your best intentions, you know what I mean? Like, I came, I'm telling you, bro, I came across people that betrayed me, that were my friend. Imagine if I gave them all this information about my next move and what I'm going to be doing in my life. They all know every, all this. They have, they'll have all this ammunition to go against me because I'm telling you, your own friends can switch into an enemy just like that. This is why I tell you, don't be making all these buddies and big friend groups and stuff like this because imagine if they turned their back on you and you told them all this, yeah, you know I mean, this, this game and knowledge and wisdom and they just run off of it and they just use it against you. Literally, now you've got an enemy that knows what you know. So it's like, wow, I've got to kind of be careful. Literally. Because that's what I always realise, like, why, why can't I open up? Why can't I don't, it's like, say what's on my mind to this guy? It's like, I'm telling you, it's like your spirit won't let you tell you what's on your mind to these people because it's like, they know they're no good for you. Literally. So always have that in the back of your mind. If you feel like you've been stripped of your intelligence when you go around these people, it's like, it's because they're not meant to know. I'm telling you, they're not meant to know what you know. But yeah. Man, these people are dumb you down, bro. Literally. 
because we know things that they don't know and it's like they will put us off the things that we know by telling by them telling us all the random bot things that they know you know what i mean oh yeah celebrities yeah you know i mean celebrities gangsters all this irrelevant stuff yeah you know i mean they'll be telling you all of this stuff that don't even it ain't gonna help you upgrade spiritually it ain't gonna yeah you know i mean you ain't gonna do nothing it's just waffle i'm telling you i stay away from people that waffle now <laughs> Because I used to be around a bunch of people that used to waffle. Oh, well, yeah, I used to do this, I used to do that. Yeah, I used to do this back in primary school, this in secondary school, just waffling. Oh, yeah, I went to the shop, this, that. I don't care about your lame shit, man. I'm telling you, don't be sitting down there listening to people's stories and what, what they're talking about all day. That's what I realised because a lot of these people, when you come in contact with them, it's like they always love to this. I mean, talk their whole life onto you like you care, like. Why are you telling me all this random information for, like, I'm your mum, your dad, do you know what I mean? I'm telling you, it's like, you know, they'll tell you all this stuff to, like, make you more a part of their... It's weird, it's like, I don't know why they do it, but it's like, you don't even know them, but they're telling you all this information about them and what this, what's going on with them and shit. It's like, I think they do it because it's like... I don't know, they just don't have boundaries, like, privacy. Because, see, people like us, we can't just go our way and just go tell people our personal business and go to tell people our problems in our life. Because it's like... How is that going to benefit us in any way, letting you know what's going on behind the scenes? I'm telling you, you might as well just endure it on your own and fix it. Because that's the that's the best way to deal like deal with situations and things you go through out here is just dealing with it by yourself and not telling anyone. Because what I realize when you tell people, it's like they just wanna make it even harder for you, you know what I mean? Or just tell you that it's either your fault or you're the problem when they don't even know the story, man. I'm telling you. Well, just overcome stuff in yourself. Don't be out here. Yeah, you know I mean asking for sympathy and and stuff like this because man you gotta be the guys out here i'm telling you you gotta be the guy i can't be a lame you gotta be the man bro but yeah man our intelligence is through the roof people don't know how intelligent we are until they see that all the results have you put on display i'm telling you people see my intelligence and a lot of chosen beings intelligence just by us doing what we're doing you know what i mean but it's like they, it's like i'm telling you it's like these people can feel your intelligence it's like don't feel like these people won't can't feel your intelligence and feel how smart you are and it's like they can it's like when they're around in your presence it's like your energy speaks for itself so it's like this is why they child and disrespectful tricks and all these weird things on you because remember the time when I told you about the guy taking my lighter when I was sitting on the sofa saying it weren't mine when it was mine he was doing that because he just wanted to disrespect me but I'm telling you pe people when they, when they sense that you got like I'm telling you these people it's like they can sense you have high I'm telling you they can but it's like you can f they, you can feel it they, they can feel it on you on your spirit, this you, when you walk into their presence, they're like, this, this guy must know what I've done. I'm telling you, I'm telling these people, it's like they know. They, it's like they know what they've done as well. Like, say, say, say it like how he took my weed and I, and I, and I know he took it. And I, when I saw him, it's like, he, he probably, he probably knew I knew that I took his weed, like he took my weed, but I just didn't say anything. I'm telling you, but man, literally, I'm telling you, through the roof, man. That's what I tell you, never t let anyone tell you anything. Because I had a bunch of people telling me I was, I was stupid, slow, you can't do this, can't do that. But see, look at all the results I'm producing now. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, let your work speak for itself. Because see, I could have been running my mouth back up to these people, giving them all this energy, but... Psh, they ain't going to do nothing. Itchy. I'm just going to drain my ass. And beast back at square one just like these 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 
Decepticons! I'm telling you. Why the hell am I gonna be back at stage one? What? I'm telling you, stage one. I ain't going back to no stage one no more, bro. I make sure I stay at the consciousness level where I'm at right now. Literally. Because I don't want to go back down in intelligence again, you know what I mean? Go back down to where I didn't know about energy and betrayals and vibration and just, just malicious tactics that people like to use out here. Literally, I make sure now that I'm on my toes and on guard, bro, because, man, you'll get eaten up out here, especially as a high vibrational being, bro, you'll get eaten up. Because we can't... Um, Endure too much like disrespect and hurtful things too much, bro. Literally, but yeah, bro, disrespect. But yeah, man, they were dumb down their intelligence. He, he, he. Because sometimes these people are, like try to get smart of it and feel like they're more intelligent than you. You know what I mean? Yeah, they might come up with like simple math. Oh yeah, what's this? What's a, I don't know, 900 plus. Yeah, I don't know, bro, like 450. They'll, they'll do something like that, bro. And they want, it to, they want you to do it like on the spot, like quick. And say like if they do it before you. I'm telling you, people like, in a, like some sort of competition. These Decepticons will be in a competition with you because of your smartness. But see, don't enjoy enjoy the games and play games back and back and forth with these people because that's what they want. I'm telling you, literally, don't play games with these people because you see how far that they're gonna take these games and this is gonna be long for you, bro. Literally, they what they'll keep carrying on with their games. I'm telling you, these people out in this world, they're full of games. You will know this when you spiritually elevate out. And you're just looking at the world from the sidelines. Literally, you can see everything for what it is. You don't have to say one word. You can see it with your own two eyes. I'm telling you, your own, the higher you, the higher you elevate, it's like the more discerning your eyes are. It's like you can just see everything, you know what I mean, without even saying nothing about the situation. But yeah, man. Chosen ones. I'm telling you, being chosen is great. Because I walk out my house every day just feeling nice. I, I feel nice. I feel... I can't lie, bro. It's like... <laughs> I can't lie. It's like when I walk out my house, bro, it's like... It's like you move quick. That's what I realise. It's, like your, your, it's like your movements are like... 10 times quicker than these people out here. Because it's like when I go out to places now... It's like I'm moving 10 times more fast than other people. It's like people are walking at like two speed. I'm walking at like eight speed because of, I'm telling you, it's just, I'm walking at like eight speeds, bro. So these people are looking at me like, why the hell is this guy walking so fast? I'm telling you, or why is he so like fidgety? It's because of the energy we have. I'm telling you, it'll make us just do things out. It'll make us do things out here that these people can't do, like walk fast and, um, just do shit erratically, bro. Like, <laughs> like you're just quick with it. Like, say, like you go to the shop and you're looking for an apple. You'll pick up the apple quickly. Go to the counter, put the money there, and just go. You know what I mean? You won't be on some long thing p picking up slowly. You just pick it up and just go, bro. You know what I'm telling you, that's how you feel when <laughs> your energy is just through the roof, bro. Literally, because. I bumped into like th this people out here today, and when they come across me, they're like, they're like, "Are oh, you okay?" Like because I'm doing like because I'm doing things that are not normal, bro. Literally, <laughs> I'm telling you, we're like an alien to people out here. But yeah, man. That's why you don't want to be having all these... I just don't want you to be having all these friends and all these people out here that ain't on their spiritual path because, see, these people will be your main sort of... opposals, actually. 
these people that are not on their spiritual path and you are, it's like they will become hateful, jealous, envy, because you're on something that they're not, literally. So they feel like they have to bring you down and dumb you down, come around you with their crud energy and leech off of you, telling you, don't let these people leech off you because they'll leech off you with by with your energy by talking about all this woke stuff and all this stuff that's I'm telling you bro understand people use your energy to bring up all these woke topics and chosen this and all this spiritual stuff they I'm telling you the minute that they leave your presence they won't never be thinking about all this spiritual stuff it's only when they come in your presence though they'll, they'll they will use your energy to start thinking about oh vibration or um or just yeah i mean this spiritual knowledge like they, they'll start to think about that when they're only in your company that's how intelligent and how smart you make people just going around them with you literally people get downloads just being around you i'm telling you man we're just extraordinary beings once you realize bro you won't just be putting all your I, putting all your eggs in one basket. See, I don't be putting all my eggs in one basket no more. I used to be doing that. I used to be putting all my eggs in one basket, being cool with this guy, and then he'll betray me, and then I'll try to be cool with that guy, and he'll betray me. I'm telling you, bro, make sure you just put all your eggs in you, because see, nothing can go wrong there, and I realized that literally nothing can go wrong when you just put all them eggs in your own basket. Because when I put more, all my eggs in everyone else's basket, man, the mistreatment was heavy, actually. But man, um, it's you these Decepticons. But yeah, man, people can feel your intelligence. I'm telling you, they can feel that you're sm like. They can feel you're smart, bro. Ne don't feel like they don't know you're smart. I'm telling you, these people know you're very intelligent, but they will never tell you that, man. I'm here to tell you. I'm telling you, I like to come in here and tell people what they are so they know. Because a lot of you out here, people will never tell you that how intelligent you are with the things that you tell and say. So this is why I make sure I come in this camera just to give you that sort of, yeah, you know I mean, that insight. So you're like, oh, wow, like, wow, I must be intelligent if I, yeah, you know I mean, this is why I give you these sort of examples and situations to make it simple, just to, yeah, you know I mean, think in your head, like, wow. So this is why, this is why I feel like this when I go around these sorts of people. Because it won't just it won't just be, it won't this one individual I felt like this round. It's, it'd be like a whole bunch of them. It's like if you don't know them and they're kind of like unknown to you and you know what I mean like a stranger kind of. It's like you won't want to like put. It's like your spirit will just lead you not to just yeah you know I mean yeah expose like information to them like helpful information or even information about yourself. It will only ask information about them. I'm telling you, boy. It's like I'm. I felt it, boy. It's like I'm telling you, especially if the universe don't want you giving out the information to the right people. It's like it will just keep your mouth. I'm telling you, it will keep your mouth closed. You're only open at certain moments when you're just waffling, talking. You're not talking nothing important. You know what I mean? Literally, because I'm telling you, it's like when I come home from from that friend or whatever, after not saying too much, it's like, I'll go back to my full and in, full intelligent self. I got all, you know what I mean? And it's like, I can discern the whole situation at the house when, when I was at his house. It's like, how comes I can discern that whole situation at his house? It's like, like I can discern how he was taking my lighter and shit and how he was doing weird shit in the house because that's how intelligent we are. It's like, we can go places and we can view it third person like character like we can view a third person view 
and just explain like what happened. That's it, it, it's like we'll be in the room in first person, but when we leave and we think about the situation, it's like we're, we're thinking about it in a third person view. It's like, right, the guy looked at me and I looked at him and it just started. But in the when I was in my first person character, when I was there, it was kind of different. I, I looked at him and he looked at me and like it just started but in my third person character i'd be like oh yeah he looked at me and it all st like he looked like i looked at, he looked at me and i looked at him and it's like he just had that weird look behind his face but i wouldn't know that until i thought about it afterwards it's always i'm telling you but that's how intelligent we are it's like after even after the situation happened it's like we can still discern it even we can go into depth into into the situation like say if i got into i don't know a car crash or say if I got in a situation, a situation with a friend, it's like we can get in that situation in the moment, and we can come back home or whatever, do what, or come back from whatever we're doing, and just sit down and just sit there, and we can just unravel the situation for what it is, and it's it's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool perk about us. Like you'll be thinking, whoa, why did my friend just do that? Like they, you shouldn't have done that. That's what you'll be thinking to yourself. You'll be like, I don't know, say like. Your friend was talking shit to you on the spot and you didn't do nothing. You, like, you just shrugged it off. But when you got home, you thought about it. You're like, whoa. Like, in a third-person view, like, why did I take that? Tell me. But yeah, man, we're very intelligent people. Never let no one dim down your noggin because of how mad they are at how... Great you are telling you people will be mad at you because you're just great. Literally I've seen it many times. Don't feel like people don't know that you're great. But yeah man. Stay tuned. Always in the building and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>